normal, but I am not. Okay, so I finally got that box open. Now let me see if I can get, oh jeez, this other box open. Let's see, so this is from the Purse Affair. Thank you so much. Some info on there. So initial box that it shipped in, no bueno. Um, but this box, very cute. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to talk about my Christian Dior messenger bag that I got a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm talking about wear and tear, how I'm liking it, how, things I do like, things I don't like. So basically pros and cons about this. The reason why it took me so long to do this video is because 
I don't wear bags so many days straight. I wear them maybe about two or three days and then I swap them out and I use something else. This is how I keep a constant rotation on what's in my collection and that they just don't sit there. And that's kind of how I weed out bags that are maybe not so great in my collection or if that kind of determines whether or not I really like it if I've already had used it right away. So let's get started. Um, I'm not too sure if it's called the messenger styled bag so I'm going to insert below what it's actually called but it is in the oblique navy blue color. It has, I, I didn't do it up because it will take me quite a while to just undo it but <clears throat> it is about a uh, 12 wide and about 10 inches high this is the back it has these two things back here which I still have yet to figure out what it's for um, something tells me if I really wanted to I could get my name embroidered but I don't believe that here in Hawaii they do that program I'm not too sure how that works I have to ask but it also comes um, the strap here it, it's it's like it looks like their um woven bracelet so it says christian dior and then even on the opposite side as well it says christian dior in um that cream color <clears throat> i got this really cute um cause b it's it's actually part of their packaging so i got one and i put it on top of my bag actually my client advisor who usually helps me there had put it on it is so cute i absolutely love it and you can hear it it's more like a little metal it's not like a plastic or anything so you know that this is something that is <clears throat> going to you know be on my bags so cute so let's go ahead and talk about the outside. So first of all, it is a canvas. So it is very, you know, movable. The shape is sturdy, but you could probably still lose it and it might kind of like sink here depending on what you have in it. Also, because it is canvas, I noticed that as I wore it, it started to pill. So here's a good example. I'm not too sure if you can see it back here. But you can see that the fabric is starting to it's not really like coming off but it's just pilling so i think it's because it's new it really hasn't been worn or anything yet that it's still able to do that so if you're wearing a black shirt you'll probably be able to see the pilling on your shirt but it's not a big deal it's going to go with it uh, away within time this is a really good bag that's wearing and tearing very nicely of course though because it is a canvas you're going to start to see it has like little frings that's beginning to happen but you know what that's to come with usage with bags that are woven like this i mean it is a very beautiful bag it's structured really well i think maybe somewhere down the line i might have to get a smart up um but i guess since we're also talking about the bag i'll let you know what is possible to fit in here so as you see here there's no lining or anything it's just straight up you know that woven um, but in here, I have my Celine case. So I actually use this case for every sunglass. I don't like to carry hard cases just because I noticed that the hard case takes a lot of space. So I like to use this soft one from Celine and it's padded. So I feel like my glasses are pretty safe in here. So I have that. Um, my reveal that I will do towards the end of this. Um, video. I went to the post office today, so I have that receipt from this place. And then, because it's so open, I just have um, my. This is the little clutch bag that came with the travel set. So I'll open this in a little bit. But let's go back to talking about like, see how spacious this bag is. It is great. Um, the thing is that I am afraid within wear and tear, like I said, it will start sinking in the bottom here. So I think um, getting an organizer like the Smorgas would actually work out well with this bag. So in here, so I have the front pocket here, which has just a couple um, small bills for parking. I have my blotter. And in here is going to have a 
bunch of stuff. This fits a lot of things. So I have, again, my mini Kirigami for gift cards and stuff. I have my Chanel light blue card zip around. I have some Haichu. Um, I have my La Creme Main from Chanel. And just a bunch of like lip glosses and stuff. But I could fit a ton in here. And I use this in this bag in particular. So it doesn't, because it doesn't have like a zipper, I'm afraid that if I was to drop the bag or anything, the things would spill out. So having this in there actually works quite well until I get maybe a smorga for this or a bag organizer for that. So, I also love it because it's oblique. Um, 2018 and of course going into 2019, Christian Dior is still one of my favorite brands right now, right next to Louis Vuitton. Like I just find myself putting most of my investments towards those two. Um, but again, love the shape. Love it. It's so lightweight. It is such a great looking piece like just how you can just fold it over but i also do love about it as well is just that it's just so light a lot of my bags are so heavy even like the book tote that i have from christian Dior is really heavy so this one is really light one of the cons about this bag is when i first got it i got these i don't know these corners are pretty hard so i actually this part would just rub against my uh, my side which it kind of hurt a little bit, but now it's starting to get a little bit more duller. So that's working out quite well. And you have to kind of watch how much you put in this bag because... So earlier today, um, I had adjusted the strap to be somewhere around here, like in between this Christian Dior and this Christian Dior here. And then now, after just wearing it for a while, it's already starting to move. Earlier today, I had to adjust it because it went from all the way in the middle all the way down to the end. So that's something we have to I have to watch out for or um, be able to lock it in some way, figure out how to um, play with the strap. But that's one thing. And another thing that's driving me crazy is that... Ooh, what are these two things here for? I am unsure. I really have to find out. Like at first I thought I was able to play with the straps and turn it into a backpack. But I tried it and unless there's a... See, it's just pilling. Unless there's like a secret magical way, I have yet to have figured that out. So there's that. But otherwise that, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous out of five stars i'd probably give it a four just because the pilling is driving me crazy some people think it's my clothes but it's not my clothes trust me um i've wore this with many other different things and it's always coming off from the bag but again it is not such a big deal but then let's get to this so on my vlog um you had seen me go to the post office and pick up um, this item. So this is something that was a one-time run. Um, was on my long time wish list that it's just in it's just one of those pieces where it's been so long time ago since it's been out that you have to get it pre-loved. So here it is in the older brown Louis Vuitton box. Oops. Got that dust bag right here. So another thing about this is that um, I've been looking on resale websites just, you know, not, not crazy like every day, but every once in a great while. And I always try to look for this piece. And this is probably the best looking piece I've ever seen so far at a great price. So the resale value on this is kind of crazy. So here I have... The Louis Vuitton Murakami Mocha M-O-C-A, I'm just going to say Mocha, um, round coin purse here. So some of the little flaws that I had noticed about it is that, I don't know if I'm able to show you, or but it has two little scuffs or maybe pink, um, paint chipping from on the bottom of the LV here, but it's very unnoticeable and everything else is in great shape another um this part isn't tarnishing as 
um, isn't tarnishing either. The hardware looks really good, as you can see here. But the another issue with it is that the the is it is it the vachette? The vachette is um, it it has patinaed quite a lot. However, I had read some articles on how to kind of combat the discoloration of the vachette. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. But I love how this has the little the chain and the D ring. The other coin purse that I had bought in my previous trip to Disneyland in late October, early November doesn't come with one. So I had taken one from an accessory that I had and put it on there. You open it. Really great on the inside. Um, no scuffs, looks great. You can still see the stamp very visible on here. It says made in France. It looks amazing. This is, like I said, one of the best that I've ever seen. And I had got it from a consignment and I got it at a really good price. So I seen these resell anywhere from $450 to about $650. I got this for three, uh, about $400 even. So I thought I really scored on this. I love um, the Murakami line. I don't have as much. I got rid of a couple, which I kind of wish now in hindsight that I didn't get rid of it. But I really still do love it. Otherwise, that that is going to be my very short review for this bag. There is not really too much to say about it is that it's just wearing really well. So lightweight. Some of the issues again are just the pilling and the strap not being able to kind of hold on its own at a specific level that you want it at. Um, and then those two things in the back. What are they? Do you know what they are? If you know, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise that, thank you so much for stopping by guys. Um, hope to get, see you guys soon. Maybe with an unboxing, we'll see. Thank you again. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up. Bye.